is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Doo. Welcome back to my channel. So we are here for another one of our mass making sessions. We are up to a week number 152, would you believe? I mean, wow, I just, shocking, literally shocking that we have done 152 weeks of this. Um, so for anyone who doesn't follow my channel, um, we are doing reruns basically. So we are rerunning Oh, sorry, I just burnt my arm on my hot glue gun that's laid beside my desk. Uh, we are rerunning week number 52. So, yep, we got to 100 weeks and then we kind of like, you know, um, wound it back and we have been rerunning them. So we're making quadruple pockets today. Um, so, so, so easy. Um, yep, if you like easy things, you're going to absolutely love these quadruple pockets. So all you are going to need is a selection of papers. Sorry, I can't talk. Selection of papers. I'm going to be using A4, um, you know, digi uh, papers. That's purely because that's what I have got most of. Obviously, you can use whatever papers you like. I would not recommend using anything too thin. I mean, this is just kind of book page. I personally would find this too thin to use. Um, that being said, I do see other people use book page and things and, you know, if you feel confident that, you know, you feel it strong enough and you're not going to tear it, I am a very kind of clumsy person and I would tear this. Um, so I'm going to be using this. I also think what would work really fantastically well is, you know, like your 12 for 12 paper pads. Again, providing they're not that really flimsy paper. So the thicker kind of paper pads, um, they would work fantastically well. Um, so yeah, you're going to need your selection of pattern papers. You're going to need either a bone folder or your scissors. You don't have to have a bone folder. Your scissor handle will work perfectly. Um, if you like to use a paper trimmer, you will need a paper trimmer. Personally, I, again, I just use my scissors and kind of wing it, but up to you. And then you're going to need some glue. Again, if you would prefer to stitch rather than glue, that also would be perfectly you know great option and work perfectly well i tend to glue when we're doing the mass making um on the whole because i know not everybody has got a sewing machine um aside from that i don't think you're really going to need anything you know essentially um you can use um obviously your blendy tool and so you would need obviously your tool and the you know distress ink um and then you may like to have some bits to decorate up um, you may like to have a circle punch, you know, to do like a thumb hole in your pockets. Again, it's all completely optional stuff. So, you know, just kind of, um, yeah, tailor them how you like them and, you know, use what you've got and how you like your pockets to look. Um, but yeah, you're, you're going to love them because they could not be any easier than, um, you know, than they are. So I'm going to move this across because I'm probably, um, thinking that I would use this tearing the images out to use it as a kind of focal point rather than the paper so let's do the first one i'm going to use just this florally um paper i think although i was thinking i might mix and match a few so let me just double check what i think oh i don't know now Ooh. Already, you know, I've only just switched the video on and already I'm, oh, I'm in an orange. So sorry about that. Right, okay, let's just go for this. So I've got, this is my Birdhouse Terrace um, papers and basically it's A4 sheet. Now I have printed this on 200 GSM, so it's nice and thick, sort of, it is still paper, it's not card, but it's, it's thick and sort of sturdier. Now, all I'm going to do, because I'm going to make this from the same paper, so the, you know, the front and the back pockets are going to be from the same paper. So I'm just going to fold it straight down the crease. I'm going to use my bone folder here, like that. And then I'm just going to fold this in half to get my two pockets, basically. So squish that down with my bone folder, like that. And then this is where I'm going to just take my scissors. But of course, you know, if you prefer to use a paper trimmer, then you may prefer to use your paper trimmer. And I'm just going to cut that down there like that. And then all you're going to do to form your pockets is basically hook them over each other and then trim one down. Because these are going to work that if this were, say, a journal page, they're going to go over the edge of a page so if this was folded in half it would glue on to one of the pages and then you'd have a pocket here so you basically glue it down here 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 like that and then you'd glue it down on this side 
and like that. So all you're going to do to make the quadruple aspect of it is basically hook this over. So you're going to want to take this down. So let's just sort of gauge roughly how, how down we want to take it. So maybe about here, for example, like that. And then this would then glue on to here. So you would have then your pocket here, like that, your pocket here, like that. And then on the other side of the page, you'd have your pocket here and your pocket here. So they literally cannot be any easier than they actually are. So in order to form this together, you're just going to open it out and then you're just going to glue down. I don't even know really how essential it is that you actually glue on the crease. I mean, that's just something that I seem to do, but you know, it's probably more habit. I don't think you probably need to even be doing that. Um, so, you know, you could probably just get away with gluing just literally this edge and this edge. And then you just press them obviously in together like that. And that is honestly all there is to these pockets. So, I mean, it, yeah, could not be any easier. And of course, you know, if you watch my channel, you'll know I love easy. I cannot stand having to do difficult things. Who wants to be bogging their life down with difficult things? So I'll just talk you through another one. Like I say, I mean, they definitely, they couldn't be more simple. So, you know, I probably don't even really need to be talking you through a second one. So this is one of the background papers from, I think it's my Victorian, either the springtime or the Victorian um, gallery kit. I can never remember which is, you know, which pieces are from which kit. Um, so, and this again is another one from the, either Victorian gallery or the Victorian springtime. So I'm going to just fold this over in half and we're going to mix the papers up this time so that it's not, you know, not the same, the same paper. So again, just squish that down with your bone folder or your scissor handles. Fold it in half to, you know, gauge your roughly your middle. Squish that down. Again, squish it with your bone folder like that. And then you can take your scissors and just literally, oops, drop that down here. And then what I'm going to do, because obviously we've been, you know, using these, oh, that's a bit, a bit creased on that one, but, but that's fine. That would be hidden from the other layer. Um, <clears throat> because we're going to mix this up with some other paper. So all I'm going to do is take, for instance, here. And then I'm just going to fold that round here, like that. So as I know roughly where I want to cut this. So just take that down here like that. Okay, and squish that down like that. Just going to trim this down on the edge. Because obviously I had um, done the other ones folding them lengthways down the paper this one obviously I have done folding you know when it's landscape up so I just take that now slot that on like that Oops. and then again glue that down so I'm just going to cut that edge off like that okay and then we can go in with the glue Glue this down on this side here, this side here, like that. Okay. And then open this out. And we're just going to glue it down this edge. I'm just thinking this edge doesn't look that straight, so I'm just going to kind of try and try and improve that slightly. Okay. And then we're just going to glue this down one there and one there like that okay press that down squish it in and again that's your pocket so just to demonstrate what that would look like on a page like that and again you've got your pocket here pocket here and then fold it over pocket here and pocket here 
So, you know, they just are so quick and so simple. And, you know, quite a good way to use up papers because if you've got some 12 by 12s that you're using for this, you could obviously use, you know, not a really huge piece of paper. I mean, this, this is the larger portion of the pocket and that's not a huge kind of scrap, is it? So, you know, you really can kind of make the most of some of your papers by, you know, using them in, in this way. So that's that one. Right, let's have a look and see what I'm going to couple this one with. So, is what do you think to that? Or, ooh, ah, I've got some of my Gilded Blues papers here. Well, they're quite nice on there, aren't they? Or I've got some actually with, with some of the kind of patterns and things like that. So, let's have a look. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Hmm, all that, actually. Oh, loving that. Okay, so, yeah. Again, just going to take that round and fold that over here just to, you know, gauge where that needs to be like that. Okay, and then obviously take that middle bit out and that just gives me where I need to cut this down here. Like that. There we go. This is also the Gilded Blues, this um, sheet of paper as well. And then again, pop that there. I might prefer it down, down there. Snip that edge off like that. And then you can obviously glue this in. So like this. And obviously I can trim this up and neaten this up in a minute. So if it's not looking too, too neat, you know, I can go back in and trim it in a second. So like that squish that down and then turn it over and obviously do the other the other side like that okay squish that down like that and that's that one done so obviously I will probably trim this out or trim this up a little bit in fact I might as well do it now I was going to say I'll do it after it's dried but actually I might as well do it now and then it's just done don't have to worry about it this edge seems like it's overhanging slightly as well so like that okay now obviously you can also round the corners on these so I mean you can really kind of vary these so if I just kind of show you I've got my circle punch now mine is a one and a half inch circle punch but you know you could obviously put your thumb holes in I'm just going to put that up like that. Oh gosh, this is where I end up getting my head in the video, trying to kind of line it up. But so you could have your thumb hole there to show that that's a pocket. You could have a thumb hole here, so as you've got kind of matching up thumb holes. Personally, I quite like them normally just maybe with some lace on the edges because you know how I love my lace. So I would snip this down. like that so it's a bit slimmer and then just kind of you know put the lace on the edge instead of the thumb hole um, but that being said you know you could have them like this so one side with a thumb hole and then one side for the you know with the lace and that way you've got kind of two different looks going on on the one pocket so super simple super easy and super quick which you know we just love all of those things don't we you know all of those kind of quick easy and you know pretty effective kind of things so i'm just going to kind of get on in the same vein and do it slightly more assembly line style so i'm just going to do like all my folds first all my cuts um next and then all my gluing i think um to try and get some serious max mass making done um, so that we can, yeah, hopefully make a whole bunch of these in a pretty speedy time. So I'm just going to put that over there, just sitting them underneath my iPad there to the side of the desk. So just going to take in and do all my folding first. So <clears throat> like that. Well, actually, I probably could even do this lengthways like that. And that would be then a small one. So like that. So I'm going to stop talking you through the process unless I'm doing something kind of different or, you know, that I feel needs talking through. I'm going to stop talking you through the process and we'll just, um, you know, just relax into it, have a nice time and, yeah, just enjoy ourselves, really. So, um, yeah, have a good catch up. So 
There we go. So I hope everybody is having a good start to their week. If you watch my channel, you'll know that I generally film these, um, you know, mass making videos on the Monday, ready to be uploaded for you guys on the Tuesday. And um, this again is the Gilded Blues. So, yep, I'm filming this on the Monday, ready for the Tuesday. Now I have to confess, I normally do these first thing in the morning. Um, so straight after the school run, I'll come back and film these. Today, I am now filming this. I don't know what the time is, but I think it's like, oh, I don't know, 4.15 or something in the afternoon. Um, because today is the, I was going to say the first day of the summer holidays. It's not the first day of the summer holidays. It's the second day, second day of the summer holidays, but the first day of the proper, you know, the first week of the summer holidays, if you like. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, yeah, I'm filming this, um, Ooh, just need to decide how I want to have this one. This is my Maribel kit, so I just need to decide do I want that castle like that, or should I just have it more like this? I think probably I'll have it more just a slim one like that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm filming this um, then, but yeah, I don't know how come really, but the day has kind of obviously gone adrift because I'm not in my usual routine. Um, you know, in that I've not had to obviously do the school run today. <coughs> and, um, you know, I went to the gym a bit later and things like that. So, <coughs> sorry about this. I've now got a frog in my throat. It was fine until I came on filming. And of course then, oh, like is so often the case, you know, as soon as you start trying to do anything, it's like, oh, can't, can't let you do something. You know, I'm going to start now having a frog in my throat. Um. Yeah, so I'd been to the gym a bit later and, um, you know, I went for a quick coffee with some people who I'm sort of friends with at the gym now and things. So, yep, and obviously, you know, my, my middle son was still here at home. You know, my daughter was obviously here at home. My eldest son, obviously, he's still working, so he's gone out to work. Um, but, yeah, so I didn't have to rush home. So I didn't get home until nine. And then, of course, I had to shower and, you know, get ready and all of that kind of stuff where normally done all of that and then I'm just coming back from the you know from the school so I've just yeah I'm just a little bit out of kind of my normal routine really which just yeah throws you out a little bit doesn't it so um well, I'm not sure really not sure how this is going to look but anyway let's just um just see so yeah hence then I obviously got ready and everything and then I filmed then a couple of videos this morning, but I've got to confess that really I needed to film those to be able to clear some space on my desk because um, my desk had become such a tip. I couldn't really focus and concentrate to be able to actually even film my mass making video. So it was a sort of, oh gosh, I need to clear this mess before I can even, you know, focus and concentrate at all on doing a mass making video. So um, yeah, I've, hence I'm now the last thing in the afternoon really but I mean my desk is still pretty messy but not anything like it looked this morning it was just like a bomb site so um yeah I've now kind of whittled it down a bit which is obviously much better so um yeah honestly it's just awful how quickly it's turned into just such a tip again so yeah it's very hard to um you know, it's very hard to stay on top of it, to be honest. You know, and I feel embarrassed because I think, oh, wow, you know, it's not long since I actually did my room move, you know, in the first place. So I've not even been in here long. And then, of course, we were out of our house, you know, for three weeks, um, you know, due to kind of renting our house out and things. So it's kind of horrifying to think, oh, my goodness, look at how much mess I've made on my desk in just such a short space of time. And actually, I've got to be really truthful and say the majority of the mess so sorry if you can hear the traffic it's kind of muggy today so I've got the window open um most of the mess has actually accumulated since being back from holiday because obviously I got back from holiday and there was like several things that I wanted to do and I really wanted to really try and catch up on my videos um straight away as soon as we got back and so it's now kind of you know just taking its toll and uh yeah, looking like a tip, you know, so yes, not not really very good. But um yeah, 
it is what it is is what it is so I mean I'll probably never have a tidy room let's be honest but yeah just quite surprising how quickly how quickly it does get quite messy so yep it's not looking very good but yeah I did have to do that this morning because um it had just come to the point where the stuff was so messy on the desk that I couldn't actually kind of move things or get to anything and I thought well this is just going to be like chaos trying to do a mass making video so I did a couple of videos to just just streamline a little bit so I mean it's still messy like I say but a little tiny bit better than it was so and every little helps as they say doesn't it so yeah right I'm going to cut this in half this is my flea market papers and um yeah I'm just going to cut this down here to do this one because I'm thinking actually yeah I needn't have bothered doing that to be honest hmm. I was thinking oh I'm going to mix these up I've now folded this in the wrong place haven't I I should have moved it over and folded it over but well, I probably still could. I haven't squished it down or anything with the bone folder, so it's not too, too ingrained with that fold. So just squish that down like that. Okay. Okay, right, let's get rid of that. Again, how gorgeous is that? I'm now wanting to hoard that. I mean, seriously, what's wrong with me? Oh, right. <clears throat> And this one, again, thinking, could we have that there? Okay, then we've just got like a weird part of a chair. Might be better off hanging on to that. Okay. Then I've got the, um, yeah, these are my pink lady papers. So these ones, definitely I can make these and then you know, when you've got a neutral one, it's quite good because then they can marry up with pretty much most most of the papers, can't they? So that's what I'm thinking, is take some of the neutrally type backgrounds and then I can layer them with, you know, some, some of the more fancy papers. So, yeah, anyway, so it's the first day of the um, summer holidays, you know, proper, proper first day. And um, yeah, the weather's deteriorated a little bit, it's got to be said, although it's probably a relief because actually it had come to the point where it was just stifling and, you know, you kind of couldn't really move. So yeah, it's probably done us all a bit of a favour by cooling down a bit and um, yeah, I mean, it's still okay. It's not, it's not cold or anything like that, but it's just not as hot as it was. But like I say, it's probably just as well. These are my Pink Lady papers. Um, so my daughter's friend was supposed to be coming around. I'm so sorry about that noise again. Really sorry about that. Um, yeah, my friend's daughter, uh, my daughter's friend was supposed to be coming around today, um, to play. So she was having a play date and, you know, that was our plan for the day. And then unfortunately she, um, turned out she wasn't very well. So yeah, my daughter was obviously gutted and, um, oh, it's such a shame, isn't it? So, in fact, I was filming a video and then the time was going by and I thought, well, perhaps I'm supposed to go and pick her up. So I stopped to check with her mum and um, her mum then said, oh, I'm so sorry, you know, we've only just all woken up because she wasn't very well during the night. So, um, yeah, that was a shame because obviously then my daughter was disappointed and, you know, it is disappointing, isn't it? As, you know, as a child because you've looked forward to it and obviously constantly then keep saying, oh, how long, how long till she comes, you know? So, yeah, she was a bit disappointed, but hopefully her friend will feel better later on in the week and she can come then, you know, a bit later on in the week. So, yeah, hopefully it will all be fine then. I'm just having a look to see what other papers look good so I've got some of this so this was my country cottages um paper um and that was the pink ladies I'm not sure whether I said that so I know that you know lots of you do really request to know what papers I'm using and you know rightly so because it's nice to know you know if you want to kind of use similar papers then it's nice to know what they are isn't it okay 
Okay, this one is the green um, architecture, like buildings, labels type set. It comes with like a sheet of, sheet of labels and things. So that's what that one is. Uh, and then this is my Flights of Fancy uh, papers. So yeah, I'm going to kind of hopefully do a couple with this. So thinking, yeah, squish it in here like that. I might even be able to kind of get two. I'm not sure. No, it's not too bad actually. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, they don't have to be the same size or anything like that. So yeah, it's absolutely fine. I mean, they don't even really need to be the same size as the other side, if you see what I mean, because you're not going to see them once they're, you know, hooked on over the page. You wouldn't actually see if, say, you know, you put that over there and this side was longer than this side, it wouldn't actually matter because you wouldn't see that. So you really can be quite flexible with these. You don't have to kind of worry, no measuring required or anything like that. So, yeah, they're pretty, pretty good, pretty flexible. And that's always a good thing, isn't it? You know, nobody wants to be, heaven forbid, measuring anything or, you know, having to be too precise. That's just awful, isn't it? So I've just got this polka dot. This is from the Maribel kit. Um, and again, it's just a really nice kind of neutral one that will marry and blend with lots of them. So just take that one down like that. Again, just squish that down. So yeah, I hope that everybody is doing well. Hopefully you've had a good week since last week's mass baking. Trying to think what we've been doing. So I had a busy weekend. We um, went to, and weirdly enough, whenever I do the mass making videos, I do always check what I did in the mass making, you know, the original one, the one that I'm doing a rerun of, because, you know, obviously you can't really remember kind of, you know, how to do it or, or you know, what was the actual method that I used and things. So yeah, I do always kind of have to, um, you know, um, play the video and kind of just double check what I was doing. Well, it was really bizarre because, um, I mean, I guess it's not really that bizarre. And when I explain, you'll, you'll see why. But I was talking about we'd had this lovely, super fun day at Bushy Park, um, which is near Hampton Court. And it's something that we do every year. But I mean, of course, it fluctuates a little bit, you know, just according to when the weekend falls and, you know, when everyone's free and things like that. Because my whole family meet up there. And we've just, sorry, hold on. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. That was my phone. And um, it was my son. Um, he's been doing his electrical apprenticeship. And, um, you know, he started that, uh, well, nearly three years ago, not quite three years ago yet. And he was just phoning me to tell me that he's finished all of his college work now, which is so amazing, isn't it? And, um, yeah, just felt so proud of him because obviously it's, um, it's a four-year course. I mean, I don't really understand, to be honest, what, you know, what he means by he's finished. But, you know, I mean, he's not a qualified electrician yet. He's still got to do his portfolio. Um, so I assume his portfolio is kind of like experience, you know, on the job. But he's actually completed all of his college work, which, I mean, how awesome is that? So, yeah, he was obviously excited and wanted to tell me. So, oh, yeah, what lovely news. So, yeah, that's kind of life changing for him, I guess, you know, because obviously now he's just got to complete his, um, you know, portfolio side of things and then he will be done. So I'm just going to um, crack on and just now put some of these together because otherwise I'll end up running out of running out of time. So, yeah, he's um, yeah, done really well. And um, yeah, just feel really proud of him because I think that's kind of like ahead of time. I mean, obviously, the fact it's a four year apprenticeship and he's, you know, he's only just coming up to his three years. It'll be three years in September. So he's finished just a little bit ahead of the three year mark and he's actually got four years to do it. So, um, yeah, he's really, really done well. So very proud of him. Anyway, I was just saying before he phoned that, yeah, how weird is this? Because... Although it is an annual thing, so I guess you could say, well, it's not that weird, it's not that surprising. But I was talking about the Bushy Park thing on the original video, and it had literally been the exact same weekend. So I had just been to Bushy Park, or, you know, we, we had just been to Bushy Park that weekend when I filmed the mass making. And we just went to Bushy Park yesterday. 
for that same day. So I'm a bit now, you know, not only am I repeating the mass make, I'm repeating the whole conversation as well. So yeah, we went to Bishop Park. Now, again, I am repeating myself, so I do apologise. But for anyone who doesn't know and who didn't catch my original video or any other times that I've spoken about it, because I've probably spoken about it in other videos. Um, so this is flying tapestry papers with the Maribel um, paper. So I've kind of mixed them in. Um, yeah, for so for anybody who didn't kind of like catch the, the first video. So the... Um, Bushy Park, it's up in somewhere called Hampton Court and it's near um, Henry VIII's Palace, Hampton Court. So it's it's literally kind of over the road to that and it's such a stunning park and yeah, it's just really lovely and we meet up with like extended family. So um, like my aunts and uncles, my cousins and, you know, all of their kids and things. So I mean, it's really a nice day out. And I think there were about 30 or 35 of us went up there yesterday. And, oh, it was just such a lovely day. The weather was um, a little bit on the windy side, but it was fine. It wasn't kind of like terrible. Um, and it was just a really good day. I mean, yeah, really, really, really nice. Because you only kind of, you know, some of those um, people, you only see maybe at, you know, weddings and funerals and that kind of stuff. So to actually kind of everyone put themselves out and go to this thing kind of once a year is just lovely. And it's really a nice way to keep in contact with your family who otherwise you maybe, you know, wouldn't see for maybe, you know, five or 10 years. So um, yeah, it's really nice. And everybody does make the effort and goes, which is really, really, really lovely, isn't it? Now I'm just debating, do I want to put that with that? Or should I put it with something else? I mean, I might even be able to get away with putting it with this lilac. I'm fancying mixing things up a bit. Oh, I'm not sure that that looks very good, does it? No. Let's try it with this one. I mean, this one is from the Pink Lady kit, and so is this. So, I mean, technically they are, you know, they're from the same kit. This one is from the Belgian Blue kit but that looks pretty good together doesn't it so yeah we could have that one should we be brave and do that let's do that so I'm just going to glue this together yeah anyway so that was kind of what what we did yesterday now I have to say it was just my daughter and myself who went you know from my household because unfortunately well, unfortunately, depending on which way you look at it. My sons had met um, some other youngsters when we were away on our holiday. And, um, you know, it's so lovely, isn't it? With the aid of technology now, you can keep in contact with people, of course, so easily. So they've kept in contact with these um, other lads. And they live, I mean, actually, one of them's quite a way away, but one of them is not too far away. And, yeah, they came down for the night on Saturday night. So they went to a nightclub and things like that. Well, not my 15-year-old, obviously. Um, he was actually working and didn't get home till 10.30 anyway. But, um, yeah, my eldest son, he went clubbing with them and things. And um, then they stayed the night at our house and they all went to the beach yesterday. So they had a really super nice day, obviously, you know, with these people that they've met on the cruise. And I just thought, oh, that's so lovely, isn't it? To keep in contact like that. And um, yeah, they had a really, really good day. But it was such a shame because ordinarily they would come to that party in the park and they actually really enjoy it. That's what we call it, sorry, <laughs> party in the park. Um, yeah, I mean, it is just a family thing. It's not kind of an official do or anything like that, but that's what we just refer to it as. But yeah, they would have come to it and they do actually really enjoy it. So it was a shame that the two, you know, the two things coincided and overlapped because, of course, then they couldn't come. Um, but yeah, they had a really good time anyway, so it was fine. You know, they had a, a really nice weekend. Um, so, yeah, that was kind of our um, Sunday and, yeah, brilliant, brilliant time. Oh, I'm just wondering whether that's a stretch too far. I mean, I'm trying to be brave and kind of mix things up. I don't know whether that's, you know, a bit of a, a bit too much of a stretch. I'm not sure. But, oh, let's go for it. Let's be brave, shall we? Like that. Okay. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Like that. 
So yeah, that was really good. And then um, Saturday night, I went to a barbecue um, with some of the people who I've met at my gym, you know, that I go to at my gym. And that was also really nice and had a really, really nice time. So yeah, I've, I've actually been out and about a little bit this week. So that's very unusual for me. I mean, I don't really go anywhere, but yeah. I got back to my house um, at, I don't know, well, I was driving home um, at about 20 past 10. I mean, that is such a late night for me. That must be like the latest I've been out for years, you know. And um, funny enough, I mean, I kind of expected to, but yeah, I obviously saw my son who was walking back from the bus stop, you know, coming home from work. And so I was able to stop and give him a lift back. Um, my daughter, she was at her dad's house for the night and um, yeah, I said, you know, I stopped and I unwound the window, you know, and said to him, oh my goodness, look, it's your mum and I'm out at nearly 10.30 at night. What is going on? So yeah, he was, you know, obviously laughing, but yeah, so then I obviously gave him a lift back home, you know, the rest of the way. But yeah, that was a very late night for me, it's got to be said. So um, yeah, I was... Um, struggling to then get up yesterday for the party in the park thing because you know because I've been out so late oh honestly I mean I'm just terrible for um, my early nights I mean even on the boat you know on our holiday I, mean, I still kind of like go up to bed at about nine o'clock and I actually normally turn the light off you know and go to sleep at about 10 10 30 so yeah I'm really a lightweight when it comes to things so I mean to actually not even be in my house at 10 30 was like whoa what is going on here look at how late I am you know um but yeah it was really fun really good night so yeah okay okay and it was lots of lovely food at the barbecue and things so yeah, I just had a really nice night and a really, you know, really good time. So, yeah, that was really, really good. <clears throat> okay. Put that down like that. Okay. Oh, it's going really dark now. It has been raining today, but, yeah, I don't think it's rained for a couple of hours now, but I think it's about to because it's gone very black again so I think it's probably about to rain again so yeah this one I'm mixing up the gilded blues background papers with the flea market um papers and how well do they just tone because that bird I mean just goes so brilliantly doesn't he with the, the background paper so just trying to be adventurous really and mix some colors up and you know do things that I wouldn't normally do so yeah, it's, you know, it's a, it's a struggle for me because I like to be normally quite matchy-matchy. So mixing things up doesn't necessarily kind of come naturally to me to do, but, but it's quite fun. Quite fun to push yourself sometimes, isn't it? I don't think that's going to be, yeah. It's kind of a step too far, that, I think. Looks not so bad that side, actually, but this side I'm not quite so keen because those blues are not a really good combination are they so yeah i don't think i'll go for those but let's have a look at this this is the pink lady papers again so that's quite nice or of course i could go for the the ones that actually go with this kit which are the maribel papers like that but you know i'm going to be trying to be adventurous and i'm going to go for these ones yeah now, do I want to go lower or do I want to go higher? Or do I want to go somewhere in the middle? Yeah, maybe kind of in the middle. About there. So I'll just cut that down there. Okay, and this, whoops, this end as well. Okay. Well, I'm so pleased that I um, took that call because what happens normally is if I get a call during doing a video, you know, by the time that I find my phone, because I film on an old phone, you know, that's kind of no longer fit for fit for phone use, you know, it's it's an old phone, um, but it is still brilliant for filming, um, and it has a bigger capacity, you know, um, like storage capacity than my phone, so I generally film on that one. So my actual phone that I use, obviously for phone calls 
is in my handbag, which is normally beside me. And it's obviously normally floating about at the bottom of my handbag. Now, if any of you women kind of a bit like me, I have literally every single thing in my handbag. You name it, it's in there. And yep, it's just a nightmare. And it's a miracle if I even get my phone out before the call has rung off. So that was what I was kind of trying to say is, you know, it's a miracle that I even managed to actually pick up the phone before it rang off because that's what normally happens is it, you know, generally has kind of rung off before I actually get to it. So, yeah, really pleased that it didn't today because that was so nice to be able to speak to my son and, and hear his nice news. So, I mean, obviously he's on his way home from work now anyway, but and he won't be that long, but he was obviously really excited to tell me. So that's really nice, isn't it? really nice um oh that's quite nice on there isn't it i do like that i love um you know the yellows and the blues together i just think they're so gorgeous aren't they i know this is a you know not necessarily what you call yellow but it's a sort of mustard color isn't it it's so pretty oh that's also quite nice do i prefer it on that one or on that one i think probably the paler one so let's do that Again, just trim that down on the edge. <clears throat> okay, oops. There we go. Right, tuck this over. So I probably won't actually put any more together because I just glanced at the um, time and I think I've been filming for about 15 minutes now, you know, since taking that phone call and I was pretty sure that I was up to half an hour so yeah, it's probably time to now actually decorate one up. So I have to complete the rest after the video in slow time. So we will just quickly finish this one off here. And then I will decorate one up because we always like to do that, don't we? So, yep, okay. Don't think we went to the cinema at all last week. I'm pretty sure we didn't. Um, I don't think there was anything on. So, yeah, I don't think we went to the cinema. I'm trying to remember, but, yeah, I'm pretty sure we didn't. I don't think there was anything on. So, um, yeah, nothing to report from the cinema. So I'm going to save these ones for later and do them in slow time, like I say. But let's count up how many that we have done. So we have got one, two three four five six seven eight nine so nine is pretty good isn't it plus i've got obviously all those ones that are ready folded ready for later so let's decorate one up now just happened to have this cluster just you know by the desk that was kind of catching my eye so i'm thinking oh perhaps i should um should try and utilize this on one of these because that's rather pretty isn't it i'm just going to check check that I want her on the one that I've just pulled in actually she's quite nice on there I know that's a mad combination and so is that but I was saying I wanted to be mad didn't I and kind of do some more exciting things oh I'm not sure now she kind of looks pretty cool actually on on lots of them doesn't she oh I don't know now oh this is when I wish that I was live and you guys could tell me which one you think because I actually really like her on several of these. So let's just see. I'm going to lay them out and see which one she looks best on. So, yeah, that's her on that one. Quite like her on there. That one, quite like her on there. Weirdly enough, this was the first one I put her on, which I thought, oh, she's great on there. But to be fair, now I've put her on there after putting her on the others. Maybe, maybe I don't like her on there so much, although... Hmm. Oh, that one. Mm. She's quite nice on there, isn't she? And then this is the Maribel, which again, she's quite nice on there, but oh. I mean, maybe not quite so good if she was that side. So perhaps from that point of view, this would be a bit of a bit of a mad decision. So let's, right, we've rejected that one. Okay. Let's have a look. Oh, this is so tough. Why have I got this here? It's just going to be confusing now oh don't know don't know wish that I didn't have that there because it's really throwing me off 
and um, yeah, I can't decide now. Got some labels, so I'm just going to quickly pull these in. Because <coughs> I just thought, oh, are they kind of going to be similar? I mean, they don't really look similar now that I've pulled them in. Now I'm like, oh, what made me think they would be similar? What on earth is going on with me? Um, got some of the Maribel stuff here. Um, because if I go too wild and wacky, I'm not going to feel ever happy to actually use these things on another piece, if you know what I mean. Because I'll then think, oh, that doesn't really match that at all. Um, thinking, I don't know. I don't know. So this is as well, this is the Gilded Blues. So, yeah, I'm wondering whether I could maybe cut out like this piece from this paper. Let me just try. I don't know how this is going to go. I haven't tried cutting this out and it looks a bit fiddly, doesn't it? But let's give it a try. Okay. Okay. Why oh, isn't my daughter being a good girl? She's obviously just on her tablet. But yeah. She's oh. Just cut into that bit. Hold on. Too much talking, not enough paying attention to what I was cutting, obviously. But yeah, she's being a good girl, isn't she? She's just on her tablet. You know, I have filmed a couple of other videos, like I say, this morning, and then we've been out for a bit. And yeah, I said to her, you know, I've got to come back and do another video. She's going to have to be a good girl for a bit. So, I mean, she is a good girl anyway, but, you know, even better than normal. So, um, yeah, she's just entertaining herself. Okay. <clears throat> and entertaining herself, obviously, that just involves going on YouTube, really. So, yeah, that's what she's doing. She does play some games. Um, yeah, she plays some games. And sometimes she hooks up playing games, you know, with her cousin. So I don't know how that works. But, yeah, sometimes they seem to play games together. Um, you know, but I don't think that's what she's doing today. But... You know, sometimes she does do that. Right. Oh, not sure about that now. Oh, it's quite nice on there, actually, isn't it? That is quite nice on there. Um, hmm. wonder if I could do anything else. Got this section here. Let's just try cutting this one out. Hold on. Oh. I don't know why I thought this would be a good idea to cut out any of these bits. And I've now taken my glasses off, which definitely a mistake. So let me just put my glasses on. Hold on. Otherwise, I just cannot even see what I'm actually doing. So, okay. 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 Oh, come on. So fiddly, so fiddly. Right. <clears throat> Put that down like that. Cut around here. Okay. Cut that down there. Okay. Let's have a look. So, yeah, that's quite nice there. Mm -hmm. It's even quite nice there. Oh, it's quite nice there, actually, isn't it? So perhaps I'm not going to bother with this um, lady at all. Oh, I'm going to end up running out of time if I don't kind of hurry up a little bit. I'm dithering about a lot and, yeah, must stop dithering about and actually get on with, um, with what I'm doing here, mustn't I? So let me just pull in that other piece and see what that would look like on this side. So that's not too bad on that side, is it? So yeah, perhaps I'll go with these two. So let's get my Distress Ink. And yeah, let's Distress here. Okay. Right, just Distress around here as well. Make this stand out a little bit more. Okay. Like that. Oh, that's so pretty, isn't it? 
love how that looks and let me just get in a bit of lace okay oh how gorgeous does that look oh that looks lovely doesn't it i wonder if that lace is upside down no no it was actually up the right way would you believe so right um hmm. let's glue this down Sorry, my hot glue gun's now caught up under loads of paper, so uh, sorry about that. <clears throat> okay. I haven't used these gilded blue papers at all yet, so this is the first time I've, you know, done anything with them. But yeah, they're very cute, aren't they? Very pretty. Oh, I'm so sorry about that horrible noise there. I think it was a motorbike. Just noisy. Okay. So, oh, I love how that looks. That is so, so pretty, isn't it? I really, really love it. So let's ink this one up now. I mean, like I say, I don't really know if it really even needs inking, but yeah, it's just kind of ink it up anyway. That's going to go there and let's just see, just see whether we want any lace. Maybe just coming off at the side there. That's pretty, isn't it? So I'm just going to glue this down, which will hopefully just hold that lace in place. Okay, whoops. Like that. Okay, let's press that down. <coughs> Okay, right. Okie dokie. And yeah, I'm going to just, I think, this here. And I might just see just whether I've got any flowers or anything like that that would look pretty on here. So, oh, ooh, that might be a good one. Let's just have a quick look. Oh, how gorgeous does that look? Right, okay, so let's pop this one down. Now, the only thing is, I need to just try and make sure that that clock is not hanging over the edge. Right, because otherwise just that little bit was overhanging and of course then that would be a very vulnerable point and, you know, very at risk of being squished or knocked off or, yeah, not, not good. So let's pop that down there. Very pretty, very pretty. Yeah, really like this. It's very different, isn't it? It looks very different to anything else, I think. So, and these were those Victorian springtime papers, but yeah, it just kind of picks up those colours and looks really good, doesn't it? Oh, that is gorgeous, I must say. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, I don't think I inked up the actual papers so let's just ink those up now like that okie dokie and then we'll just ink on this side and we might just have something else on here as well so let's just have a look and see if there's anything else that we could kind of add to this that's you know going to look super pretty so don't know whether a flower might be too big on here but well, this this particular flower might be just ginormous, but let's give it a try. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry about that frog in my throat. It's really annoying. So yeah, I'm really sorry. Could have it there. I don't know whether it's a little bit big. Well, what if we have that with maybe an ivory flower on top, just a small one. Oops. So these are those lovely flowers that I bought from Amazon and hopefully these should be on, I think, my Amazon storefront, which there is now a link for. So, yeah, if you wanted to check out what they were, hopefully they're linked below. So, um, I mean, I absolutely love these flowers, I've got to be honest. And, uh, yeah, I use them all the time, literally all the time. So, yeah, if you wanted to have a look, they should be, should be linked below. 
Okay. Like that. And let's just get a flat back pearl for this side now as well. Just because then that's kind of mimicking the other side, isn't it? So, oops. They're just on my on my little plastic plastic set of drawers there. So let's just pop that down there. Oops. Okay, I'm just going to pop some glue under here. <coughs> just to hold that down a bit better. Now, do we think that that needs any bling? I seem to be going like bling free quite often lately and who knows what that's about. So let me just grab some bling in from my little drawer. Okay, not my drawer, my, um, you know, my desk organiser. So yeah, let's just have a look and see. Could just have like maybe just a couple, a couple in the butterfly. Okay. Oops. Oh, that looks pretty, doesn't it? So I'll just just glue those down with my wet glue, I think. Like that. And then I'll just see if we need any bling on the other ooh, on the other side. Oops, come on. So that one. And we'll just have a look on the other side. Again, we could just have it in the butterfly. Don't ask me why I've done three on one side and two on the other. No idea what that's about, but. I think maybe I just thought the other side, you know, was quite full on with that big flower. So yeah, let's just kind of have it like that. And I'm just wondering, just the final thing, because I can never quite leave it, is whether we need a word. <clears throat> and I printed off some of my words today, so just grabbing them because they had fallen on the floor. Uh, right. Timeless. Seems very apt, doesn't it, when we've got a clock, so let's just cut that one out. Okay. Timeless. One. Two. Okay. Just ink that up. Okay, so that one we could have there or here. Maybe something like that. Or up there. Probably really doesn't matter too much where we have it, but anyway, just there like that. So how pretty does that look? Now, I have got a journal here. I don't think I've started it really particularly I, I've, I've just kind of semi stuffed it with some bits but I just want to kind of show you how this would look somewhere so let's just open it up at a page now obviously this you know I'm not suggesting it goes on here or anything like that but this is how this would look on a page so you would glue it here here and here and that would be a pocket there and a pocket here and then on the other side, exactly the same, you would glue it here, 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 glue it down and you'd have your pocket here and your pocket there. And so that gives you your quadruple pockets. So yeah, I really hope that you like them. I mean, they're super fun to do and um, yeah, I think they just look really pretty and my goodness, could they possibly be any easier? And you know, like I say, it's all about the easy peasy, isn't it? So. Yep, definitely, definitely they are a winning pocket from, from my point of view. So I hope that you have fun if you decide to make a bunch. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have a fantastic week and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much then. Bye.